Oh, he got very well, showed good energy, he was getting over the track really well. He seemed happy coming off the track, looked good. But uh, all the horses trained well. So there's been a lot of scuttlebutt regarding Forte issues for you with him. I was very happy with the way he trained today. Everything's on course at the moment. Is there a reason that uh, you can identify that why he and Kings Barnes were on the vet list, vets list yesterday? Um, I think the standard protocol for the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission. So. Okay. So the overall status of Forte, healthy and ready to go? Yeah, I thought he looked great out there today. Very pleased. All good. Everything's ready to go. Rock and roll. As of right now, yes, sir. Where's Mike this morning? Uh, Mike was uh, not in attendance, but he was on the phone with everyone, so it was almost just like he was here. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, What were you looking for from the three today in particular? Uh, I mean, the main thing is just get them out there for one more gallop and have everything go smoothly and safely. And you know, as we saw yesterday, all kinds of things can happen. And so, you know, it's uh, just, that was the main focus, uh, get a little exercise and in and out safely. Will you be able to take them out for anything tomorrow or is that just? As a rule, we don't always train on, on race day. Occasionally we will. I think we'll kind of play it by ear overnight, but most likely they'll, they'll just stay and walk the shed rope. When it was scratch after scratch after scratch yesterday, any sort of thoughts about, oh, maybe we should have kept Major Dude in there? Are you happy he's in the turf race? We, we, I mean, we made that decision, um, obviously, before entering. We kind of weighed the pros and cons. Had we had the choice of entering in both races, we would have. But with a, you know, an accomplished turf horse and a, and a race like the American turf with a significant purse, we felt like it was the best thing to, to focus on that. What was going on yesterday with all the scratches and, and emails flying from Churchill Downs? What, what were you thinking? Have you ever seen anything like this? No, but I mean, I, I think, you know, we're, we're in an era where you're going to see a lot more scratches. And, uh, you know, I mean, everyone's very, very concerned about the, you know, the safe uh, safety of everything. And, and so, you know, I mean, I, you see it now in a, in a race like the Derby, but, you know, I think if you look at statistically, there's just been a lot more scratches in general um, everywhere. Anything with the track when it comes to safety? I mean, what safety in particular? Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I can't point to, to the track for the issues here. Um, you know, one of the incidents was on the main track, one was on the turf course, a couple other ones were mysterious. Um, so, you know, none of that points to a problem with the, with the surface itself. What are you doing that is allowing your horses to, you know, withstand and withhold during this time while these others may not be able to? Well, look, I mean, it's a it's a constant challenge, especially when you're, you know, preparing for big races and these horses are performing at a very high level and and uh, you know it's a, a a course to get here and some demanding races to, to you know to qualify points wise. So look, it's uh, you know keeping them healthy is is the biggest challenge always. You still have um, one more or two more bad exams to have to come with your horses after training today? Yeah, I th my understanding is they'll probably have two more. So, I mean, it's a pretty thorough inspection process. They've been looking at them all week. Is it more rigorous this year, Todd, than in past years, or has this become a, the new normal recently? I, yeah, I think it's I think it's the new norm. It's similar to what we are seeing at the Breeders' Cup and similar to what we are seeing here last year. Okay. And does... When you hear the rumors flying around, does it drive you nuts? Um, I mean, that's that's that goes along with the new, new era we're living in as well. You know, everyone's uh, got a Twitter account. <laughs> I mean, was it all nonsense, or did you have reason when you woke up this morning to be concerned about the day? I'm concerned about all of them every day, and will be for all night. There was a video of him kind of just having an awkward stride yesterday. I saw that, yeah. He had a little bit of a stumble in his gal. For the people that aren't as familiar with, you know, what, what horses go through and that those kinds of things happening on occasion, can you kind of uh, put it in layman's terms of the kind of, kind of things that a, a horse might go through on a typical training day? Yeah, I mean, it's not something you see very often. It's just, you know, he just kind of took a little bit of a bobble step and, mm -hmm. you know, recovered right away. And, um, as you can see this morning, he's out there changing leads, you know, at every spot beautifully and, mm -hmm. and getting over the ground well. So I don't, I, that was a one-off. I don't know what, what that was about, to be honest. What's the process of checking the horse after an incident like that? Uh, well, actually, I mean, the, the 
Kentucky Horse Racing Commission veterinarians were looking at all the horses yesterday, so they looked at them after that just by normal routine, and then they were out looking at all of them again today, and they'll look at them all again tomorrow and maybe once more today. They're watching them on the track as well, so it's all part of the normal routine inspection process, or new routine anyways. You're confident you're running, and is your confidence in the horse still what it's been? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's shown up and run well every start of his life, and, and uh, I would expect no different from him.